Oh, hey. What's up, guys? <laughs> We're live. Let's go. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't get a uh, YouTube strike for this. We'll see. But uh, apparently, we're live. The stream looking okay? <laughs> guys! <laughs> How exciting is this? Okay, so here's the premise. Here's the premise. We are going to be spinning this wheel. For every single round of the tournament. Whatever it lands on. Is going to be the game that the two players have to play. We've got all 19 games that have been run in previous Fightcade Frenzies. This is our 20th tournament. It should be a good time. I believe our first match is already lined up. We got Mr. Mixtape versus PK Blue. And both players do get a ban. I will tell you that. Both players get a ban. Uh, Mixtape has banned Blandia. And PK Blue has banned Mortal Kombat 2. So we're going to spin the wheel. If it lands on either of those, we're going to re-roll, but let's go. The Killing Blade Plus! I'm sorry, that is so loud. Hold on. The Killing Blade Plus will be our first game. So, uh, enjoy that, fellas. Let me let me open that up on the old fight cade. Wait, that's the game with the wizard, right? <laughs> oh no, that's the game with the wizard, but I believe let me consult the rules here. Yeah, Lord Wizard is banned. Lord Wizard is banned. So we don't got to worry about that one. We 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 made the executive decision Lord Wizard is banned. So uh, everything else is fair game. So, mixtape of PK Blue, as soon as they're ready, we'll fire it up. How exciting is this, guys? Are you guys pumped? I'm, re I'm ready for some wacky action here. The 20th Fightcade Frenzy. Should be fun. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, no, Lord Wizard. We did we did rig it. Truly. Alright, I see the two players online. They're not in match yet. I'm trying to fill time. Okay, they're in match. Let's go. Ba 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 ba. Alright. Hey Nubcake, thanks so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Uh, is the volume good or do I need to raise it? Let me know. All right, so we got the the painter and Krillin. I I feel like this is a really good team. Uh, we obviously saw in the tournament that uh, Lord Wizard by far the most broken character in this game. A major major problem. That's why we banned him. Uh, but. Both these characters on Mixtape's side here also were very strong when we ran the tournament for this game. This painter guy, he has the super where he fills the screen with projectiles, does all your life. And then the little Krillin guy, who I think might actually be a girl, I'm not sure. But the little Krillin character, uh, really slippery and hard to deal with. Where th This turtle guy, I feel like we saw some stuff out of the turtle, but not a ton. Yeah, why are there cheat codes below their health bar? I'm pretty sure that's the super input. I think. There's like there's like a Raging Storm style super where you have to input a bunch of moves in a row. I think that's what that is. Um, Alright, sorry. Just messing with the stream. Uh, mixtape looking pretty dominant so far. Tagged in the little krill, and now we got we got Pogo. <laughs> Pogo is out here, <laughs> standing on the swords, bro. Oh, but the hit grab. Wait a minute, what's the setup? The projectiles. Dude, this character, I'm telling you, is so slippery, so hard to catch.
uh, disconnect. Our fir our first technical difficulties of the tournament. Game crash. All right, run it back. Run it back. <laughs> This is what happens, guys, when you try to do old janky games. You gotta deal with you gotta deal with the technical difficulties, man. What a pain. Alright, alright. We're resetting. We're starting from the start. Back to the start, baby. Oh my god. Alright. We're back in it. Uh, good idea to add, um, adding a, uh, the game title. I'll do that real quick. Uh, did it crash again? It appears to have crashed again. Uh-oh, guys. <laughs> oh, no, it's cursed. It's cursed, no! It's cursed. All right, I'm just uh adding this for you guys. There you go. Uh, third time's the ch Oh, we're re-rolling a new game. Apparently that game is too broken. <laughs> it literally doesn't work. We're re-rolling. Let's see how long it takes us to get through the first the first round of the tournament, man. Rainbow edition, baby. Rainbow edition. Surely nothing bad will happen in Rainbow edition. Now I got to change this too. Uh SF2 Rainbow edition. All right. All righty then. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it should be fun. This is a pretty fun game. Yeah, finally, finally some, some good food, right? J it's just a normal, fundamentals-focused, classic fighting game. It's just a classic. It is what it is. All right, as soon as these two players get the batch going... Any time now. Whatever that last game was. Uh, you're going to have to refresh me. I don't remember what I did yesterday, much less, <laughs> much less a month ago. <laughs> okay, PK Blue is getting errors in Fight Gate. We might just have to skip this one. And run a different match. Possibly. One one of the players is having technical difficulties with Fight Kid. Oh, is the game is Rainbow Edition broken? No, Rainbow Edition works for me. Assuming that's the right version. Bum, 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 bum. Should I just, should I just, there, now it makes it feel like we're, we're waiting for a good reason. I need to find out where, so, I, I know from watching Ludwig, 
there's apparently like a secret thing on YouTube live streaming where you can see if you're about to get demonetized. <laughs> Or if you're about to get like copyright strike, there, there's like a button or an alert somewhere that's like, hey, just to let you know, we might be detecting copyrighted uh, material on your stream, which happens before they take your stream down. So I should figure out where that is so I can find out if I'm going to get got by the price is right. Is Bob Barker going to come get me? All right, we're in game. Mixtape. Uh, oh my God. What is this game? <laughs> Mixtape going hard with the homing sonic booms. Oh, not the dizzy. Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> All right, Guile seems a little cheap in this. Guile seems slightly cheap, I might say. Possibly. This is this is a real man's game, though. If you guys want to be a real gamer, you have to know how to play Rainbow Dish, for sure. Oh my god! What do you do? What's the answer? I don't have the answer, Sway! Oh my god. Did he just get re dizzied? What the heck? Guile seems so broken! That's true, you can't you can change characters in the middle of rounds. That is a fun thing about this game. All right, where are we going? The, I think the Shotos are a good pick, for sure. I think the Shotos are pretty strong. Put my tape took and... Oh my God. No, no! <laughs> Absolutely no mercy being shown here. Oh my God. Bro. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? I don't know the answers. Oh my god. Tatsu doesn't work because they just home. Um, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to do. You're about to get dizzied again. Sandwich too. The sand. Well, mixtape wins. Heck of a first round, guys. I can't believe mixtape just posted GGs in the chat. That's so disrespectful. That's so disrespectful. You win like that, and then you have the the gall to say GGs. All right, it's time to roll for our next round here. Uh, next round is gonna be um. Wormy versus possibly Zach. Uh, it seems like possibly Zach might not be here. He has not posted in chat, but just in case. Well, I'm, I'm not. Maybe I shouldn't roll until possibly Zach is here because. Oh, wait, did he? Did he post MK2? Am I missing something? Oh, he is here. Wait, did he post a ban? Did I miss something? Hold on. I'm trying to find possibly Zach's ban. I totally missed it. I don't think he posted a ban. Oh, he you deleted it. It was MK2. Oh, okay. So MK2 and Ragnagard are banned. All right. All right. All right. Battle K Road. This is a good one. This is a this is a pretty fun one, I must say. Let's go for it. Uh, if you guys don't remember this one, this is the one uh, <laughs> with with the Terminator in it. There's like a bear. This, this, this was an interesting one. There's the boxer that's even more broken than SF2 Balrog. All right. 
how do we bet on YouTube? Unfortunately, there's no betting that I know of. I need to, I need to figure out a way. I also need to change this. Battle K Road. All right, we got Jeff versus Yuki. Uh, I seem to recall Jeff being kind of the problem character in in the first tournament we ran for this, but let's see if Zack Switch has some tech. Ooh, the the groin kick. Yikes. But I, I also remember like the the backgrounds are pretty impressive in this. Don't you guys think like the parallax on the backgrounds is is pretty wild? Oh yeah, this is also the game where you get knocked down and then you get up again. They're never gonna keep you down. It's like uh you know, the Chumbawamba game. Yeah, there there are just like repeated knockdowns. Bro, look at the pa the patient footsies. <laughs> Is this also the game where you can do like double overhead on jumping? Or am I thinking of something else? All right, round two. We're off to a good start here with Jeff. Yo, did he just do machine gun blow? Yo, ducking straight. Wait, Jeff seems kind of good. Yo, he's got the, he's got the Dudley ducking. Bro, the footsies, the footsies. But we reset to neutral, like Dragon Ball Fighters when you kill a character, bro. All right, Wor Worm, Worm has already found the dirt. Worm has found the dirt. Worm is indeed moving. I, I can, I can promise that Worm is moving. That's a quick 1-0. This is two out of three. And just a reminder, this is a double elimination tournament. So, even if someone loses on winner's side, they still have a chance. I definitely remember the dude who looks like Kip Dynamite <laughs> is pretty OP, right? All right, but this is the mirror match. Jeff versus Rick. I don't know if they're literally mirrors, but yeah, every character has like a second version. Like Smash Brothers, how there's like Fox and Falco, Mario, Dr. Mario. Everybody has a shadow, a shadow version. I think the bear might be single player only. I wish I wish the bear was available in multiplayer. Look at the the patient footsies. They're chilling. Yeah, Echo Fighter, not a Shadow Fighter. <laughs> Ooh! The most anticlimactic groin punch. It's match point now for Worm. Every time it goes into like B buzzing mode, I freak out. I'm like, oh god, it's gonna crash. <laughs> These footsies are too much, man. Nice ant here. Hold up, whoa! Every every approach attempt here from Zack Switch is getting shut out by Worm, but taking a couple haymakers there. Ooh. Oof, looking like Sagat down fierce from CBS2. Hold up. L hold up. Have we found the one good button that's going to save neutral? Make neutral great again? The down the down heavy punch? Uh-oh, the jump in whiffs, but another down heavy punch. Okay. Okay. We've got a chance here. Dude, this is so laggy, like, I wonder if this is across the pond, or if this is just, like, the game being bad. Oof. Every one of those punches is really adding up. Oh, the knockdown, though. We gotta reset. We gotta reset the neutral. I mean, it is kind of like boxing, you know? In boxing, you, you wait for the other guy to get back up, right? Same thing. Oof! Oof! The cross. He really is looking like Dudley right now. Not the teabag. Not the full screen teabag tech. Saying, come at me, bro. Ooh, the trade! And that's gonna be it. Worm takes it. 2 0. 
<laughs> Battle K Road. <laughs> Nicely done. All right, so next up is going to be Ape Foot Octopus versus Chunkster. Looks like our bands are Mortal Kombat 2 and Rainbow Edition. Let's get ready to spin that wheel, baby. Let's spin it. Mortal Kombat 2 and Rainbow Edition are banned. What do we got? Not the Killing Blade Plus again. We're gonna try it. It crashed last time. If it crashes again, we'll remove it from the, the wheel. But we're gonna try Killing Blade Plus. Theoretically. And reminder, the wizard is banned. The wizard is banned. So let's let's see if we can get it to work here. Let's uh, change. All right, the Killing Blade Plus. No wizards spotted anywhere. This is this is one of the wackest games I think. I don't know, like parts of it are fun, but it's jank in a lot of ways. I do like the guy with the abacus. The guy with the abacus is mad cool. Yeah, L plus ratio plus no wizards. True. All right, so we got the painter, known to be one of the most broken characters. But already we're seeing one of the advantages of the, of the Krillin type. It's that they are extremely small and can duck under projectiles. Also extremely floaty, but yeah, here comes the skeleton army gets zapped out of existence. What the heck? Does Chunkster have the tech? The psionic warriors? Go, my psionic warriors. Oh my god, the jab pressure. Nice DP to get out of it. But here come the psionic warriors. You gotta watch out. Oh my god, the Damai. Yep, that's one character down. Mr. Abacus comes in. But is he gonna be able to deal with the psionic warriors? That might be the problem. That might be the problem. Look at the damage, my man. The damage on these guys is crazy. <laughs> okay, that's one oh eight foot octopus. Yeah, the, the, the painter. The painter might be number two in the game behind the wizard. We definitely saw the painter putting in work in the last term. He was kept under control by the wizard. That was the problem. The, the painter didn't get to thrive because the wizard was so OP. Uh, I think this is versus AI. I think Chunkster needs to push start. Might not have start bound. No, they're blockable, guys. The, skele the Skellingtons are blockable. No, 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 no. We're not going to ban Painter. The Wizard is on another level. The Wizard is truly on another level. Uh, we're, wa we're waiting for Chunkster to press start. I think Chunkster either doesn't have start bound or Chunkster went AFK. I don't know what's going on. The technical difficulties continue. Maybe it's a desync? Could be a desync. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. We have Wizard only final destination. I actually wonder if Wizard versus Wizard would be an entertaining match, you know? Like, sometimes... Sometimes, like, two really broken characters fighting is fun. But sometimes it's, like, not really like good fun. It kind of depends. Like, Sentinel versus Sentinel is really fun. But, like... Ivan Ooze versus Ivan Ooze. All right, Chunkster giving us very <laughs> um, evasive answers in the chat. 
It says my buttons are fine, but that's not what we're concerned about. What we're concerned about is, are we desynced? Okay, it was a desync. It was a desync, guys. Maybe we should just ban this game. That explains why Chunkster got blown up so bad. All right, we're ban we're banning Killing Blade. Too many technical difficulties on Killing Blade. I'm sorry, it must be banned. Um, it's it's sad because it is actually a pretty fun game, but it it keeps it keeps literally not functioning. So we're re-rolling. <laughs> Toy Fighter. <laughs> All right, this is a hype game, but I won't lie. I'm a little bit nervous because this is a Flycast game. Flycast games tend to not work so good. But I believe. I believe. Don't you guys think? Yeah, we've had a full tournament for every one of these games, guys. Every, every one of these games, we've had a tournament. That's why they're on the wheel. This is the this is the last chance kitchen. Is that what they call it on on Top Chef? All right. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear gonna go savage. I actually like it. It, it is kind of cool that, um, you know the characters are they're kind of based on toys. Oh, sorry, you guys can't see. Wait, what the heck? Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, the characters are based on toys, right? So, you know, I think the chicken is supposed to be like the drinking bird. That's what that's what I always thought. That he's supposed to be like the drinking bird. But I don't actually know. And obviously, you know, hero hero could be anything. He could be a superhero. But th this game is really hype. I'll give you that. This game is extremely hype. Especially the throw system. Oh, nice throw escape. Yeah, the throw system is like a Mario Party minigame. Oh, he charged up the, the cog. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but aren't supers unblockable? Wait, was that? Oh, it's just one round. I forgot. It's just one round. It's not two out of two. Oh, the two hearts. It's because you lose hearts. Oh, my God. I forgot how this game works. It's gonna be. I hope we get this game every time. So it'll be. It'll be really fast. Oh my god. Oh, the throw. Nice throw break. Okay, staying alive here. Yeah, throws take out two hearts, and supers take out like two or three. Isn't that right? Yeah, and if you just get rid of their life bar normally, it takes off one. This game is really, really cool. And I think the graphics are good, too. So someone asked if Flycast games are laggier. They are, and they have a lot more bugs in general. Uh, just because Fightcade was not made for it. It it was like, it was like hacked into Fightcade. Uh-oh. Oh, the reversal! Let's go! I think that means 8 foot octopus won! <laughs> I think that's it, it's two, right? Let me check in with the team. Are we counting that as two? I mean... We have to, right? Even though it's like best of one? <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that that's it. Alright, 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 alright. Congrats to 8-Foot Octopus. Alright, so next up is going to be... Uh, Pabungus... Versus Bad Tangerine. Bad Tangerine banned Godzilla. Pabungus banned Ahari Manada. It's roll time. Autobots roll out. Oh, we barely clipped over to Ragnarok. It was it was almost Cyberbots, which is actually a good game. Instead, we get Ragnarok, which it's a pretty good game, but. It has some problematic characters, let's just say. It, it's it's a hype one, though. It's a hype one. Alright, let's join Ragnar Garden. 
We've had all different all different games so far, except uh except the Killing Blade, which had to be banned. Ooh, and I'm up next. That should be fun. That game was kind of sick, dude. Toy Fighter is legit really, really fun. It's really, really fun. I very highly recommend it. Oops, I clicked on the wrong. Oh, wait, no. This is right. Why is Perfect Orange changed his name to Bad Tangerine? I didn't even notice that it was the same person. All right, let's go. So it's Perfect Orange versus Pabongus. Oh, Cheech Nene. Cheech Nene. She'll do the whip and the Nene over your corpse. She's a very strong character. I don't know too much about Goku, but Pabongus is off to a good start here. Yeah, her, her like can-can kicks are a really abusable move. The, the interesting thing to me about this game is definitely the graphics. It's got like the Donkey Kong Country like pre-rendered graphics, you know? Oh, look at the schmicks! Wait a minute! But blocks all day? Not getting opened up until... Uh-oh. Not Cheech Nene with the, with the can-can kicks. Ooh, nice overhead though. Ah, oh, but the Abare there. Tag yourself on back left monkey. <laughs> oh, I'm middle monkey, of course. I'm just looking around, trying to trying to find the fight, man. I think I have to turn this volume down. My ears are about to explode. Bruh. Harder, harder. Yeah, that move is like really hard to deal with. Yeah, that move is really good. I guess you could call it her Tatsu. If you wanted to. Ooh, the air movement? The sh movement and groovement? Huh, 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 huh. Alright, game one goes to perfect. Like I said, I think I, I think we've we've known since we ran the tournament for this game that that Chi Chi is is pretty good. So those tactics are coming through. Let's see, are we gonna see the Goku run back? Alright, we are indeed. Chich Nene. Son Goku. Alright, let's see if Pabungus can find some answers here. Dude, the music. <laughs> Why? Oons, 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 oons. Bam, bam, bam. Why is it just. <laughs> it's just like the one melody looped over and over. Oh no. Oh no, not the Dan kicks. That's the strat right there. Oh, that move's so hard to deal with. Chipping, big damage, very safe. That move is cheap. She's flexing on you, bro. She's nay naying on you. Charging up super meter for... I'm not sure what reason. I don't even think we've seen super yet. Oh my god. That is so cheap. Oh! Yo! Yo, what was that combo? Hold on! And then we got the tight block strings too. And it's safe on block. That's so cheap. That is so cheap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's so cheap. Perfect Orange takes it. Oh my god. Chi Chi Nene, bro. Chi Chi Nene. The 2-0. The 2-0. That's tough. All right. It's me versus Farabao. Farabao has banned Ragnarok. I don't I didn't really want to ban Mortal Kombat 2 cuz it feels like everybody's banning Mortal Kombat 2. But I think it might be my worst game. Oh, I think I just I I just got a notification but I hit it behind the wheel. I apologize. Thank you to whoever that was. Um What should I ban? 
I think I banned Blandia. I ban I ban Blandia. All right, Don Kuga. Um, I always would get this confused with Daraku Tenshi. I'm I'm goaded at Daraku Tenshi. Don Don Kuga. I actually don't even remember what that game is. Oh, I remember now. I remember this now. It's not, it's not good. Let me change the game name. All right, let's go. Ugh, let's go. Dude, that, that Chi Chi Nene destruction was brutal to watch, I must say. All right, so, I mean, I know Kazuya is top tier. Kazuya is hella top tier, but I'm going Jay McCoy. All right. They don't know about my Jay McCoy. So yeah, the reason why Kazuya is good, his fireball and his uppercut are so cheap. But if I can just get in there. I forgot this was a six button game. Oh, that's relatively safe. Let's go. The jet upper. Let's go. I'm nice with it. Yeah. Uh-oh. What? His things are powered up now? Uh-oh. I am in crush mode for what that's worth. My upper didn't go. Oh, let's go! I'm in. I'm in there, guys. I'm talking to Discord or Twitch chat and not YouTube. No, I'm talking to YouTube. I'm in there, guys. I mean, I'm mostly talking to myself, to be perfectly honest. Guys, I mean, we're breaking the wall all day. Look at that, we go right under. Oh no. It's cool. I'm free. Okay, okay, the bait and punish. Oh, nice. Hold on. Hold on. Round two. Oh, nice one. Bro. <gasps> oh, I'm nice. Match point. Match point. You gotta watch the, watch the fireballs.
Let's go. 2-0. I'll take it. I'll take it. My boy Jay McCoy held it down. GG's. GG's, Farabao. All right. Next up is Surabot Frank. Oh, wait. Yeah, Sir. Oh, yeah. Sir Bob Frank versus Teresa. Sorry, I had to figure out who's playing on screen. So the bands are Ahari Manada and Blandia. Let's see it. Toy Fight! I, yo, I could do Toy Fighter all day. That's one of my favorites. Toy Fighter it is. Toy Fighter's a hell of a game, man. All right, Sir Bob Frank versus Teresa in some Toy Fighter. I agree, Toy Fighter is really hype. I actually think like this format is probably, uh, obviously it comes with a lot of technical difficulties, but in general, I think that this format is like really good for streaming because uh, it's not just the same game over and over. I know it sounds a little obvious, but like when we run the same game all day, you know, you see the same characters over and over. You get tired of, like, watching the same combos. But with this. With this. Where's Godzilla? I, I am at the mercy of the wheel. All right, Neji Bird is back. Now, Mifune, if you'll recall, uh, Mifune has a very, very strong super, if I'm not mistaken. Like, a very hard-to-dodge, unblockable super. But you know, we know that Neji Bird be holding it down. Ooh, the three-piece. Oh, bro. I love the way his knee, like, goes all the way back when he does that move. What a cool character. Wouldn't... I, I wish I had a Neji Bird in real life. Like, just a little toy on my desk. That would be so cool. I should see if that exists. All right, one life point down. But the thing is, these guys, they're, they're just playing like a normal fighting game. Uh, sir? <laughs> sir, okay, he's up. Uh, they're playing like normal, but you guys have, there, there are ways to take off multiple, multiple life points here. It seems like the players might not know the, the, the hype tech. Because, yeah, if you take out their life bar like normal, you remove one life point. But if you land a grab, you remove two. And if you land a super, I'm pretty sure you remove three. Uh, do we have a desync? Whenever anyone just stands still, I assume that there's a desync. Oh, no. Sir Bob Frank says buttons are messed up. Oh, that's why. This game's still going to count. Bro, Ter Teresa with the mad hops. Ooh, nice tech. Damn, the 1-1-2. One, one, okay, Teresa takes game one. In an extremely slow fa- Oh, God, not the hand. Not the hand of God. All right, I think, I think we're restarting. Well, I don't know if we're... I mean, we're we're restarting the game. That is, so that is that is gonna carry over. Teresa's up one up. Toy Story, but everyone's Sid Phillips. So you mean like, you mean like you you, Sid fights Sid. Or you mean like everyone's Sid and you're all fighting toys? Who's to say? All right, we're trying. We're trying to figure things out here. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be a fight, kid frenzy without some technical difficulties. Oh, I see. The problem is that apparently if you set your buttons in one Flycast game, 
it carries over to all the other Flycast games because it's like saved per emulator. That's kind of bad. Godzilla on the Turbo Duo. I don't know what that is. Is that like a Turbo Graphics thing? Who's to say? Oh, yeah, I needed to tweet about this. Tweet that we're live, that is. Hold on, hold on. Is It's too much awkward silence. Alpha 2 better than Alpha 3. You know, that's a lukewarm take. I personally prefer Alpha 2 myself. But they're both good. Who's to say is becoming the new folks? <laughs> I always have to, like, be careful because I feel like half the things I say on stream I just stole from Northern Lion. E everything that Northern Lion says just finds its way into my vocabulary. He's the best streamer. Hard to hard to live up to that. All right, we're still the players are still attempting to set their buttons, I guess. Yeah, Alpha Three greater than two is the hot take. That's kind of true. Yeah, Al Alpha Three has some weird stuff in general, like. Having two button throws is kind of funny. Do you think there's any other music I can play that won't get me in trouble? To be honest, I don't know if that one's not going to get me in trouble. It very well might. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. <laughs> this is ro royalty free quiz music. Here we go. This is all we need. Wait, crab rave? Fexel OST? I don't think I've ever listened to it. Okay, but seriously, how is this taking so long? <laughs> seriously, I see both these guys in the lobby. What's going on? Wait, hold up. This kind of goes. This sounds so much like Street Fighter EX. I mean, it makes sense. I, you know, I'm just like dreading the day when people find out about like the good songs on SF6 OST. This is the track right here. P 
People haven't figured out that I use this track in every video. Apparently we're gonna play a different match. <laughs> we're playing Omega Wolf versus Moonin. The bands are Godzilla and MK2. Everyone banned an MK2, man. What's up with that? Slam Masters 2! That's a good one. That is a very good game. Ring of Destruction Slam Masters 2, is that the name? Yeah, Ring of Destruction Slam Masters 2. Let us go. Yeah, Mortal Kombat 2 scares me just because I don't know how to play. Like, I know how to do like two special moves. It's hard, man. Yeah, Rabbit is on the wheel. Rabbit is pretty hype. Only problem with Rabbit is the sound effects are like ear splitting. All right. Let's go. All right, Hagger versus Biff. <laughs> this game is really cool. One, one interesting thing is the characters are kind of small. Doesn't it feel like fighting game characters are usually bigger than this? Like relative to the camera? Look at how hyped this stage is though. Bro, with the cameraman. Dude, Hagar's com coming in. Got all the same moves as my favorite game, Marvel 3. Coming in. Biff is looking solid, though. This game's also really fast. Like, in general, I feel like for, for like three or four years after Street Fighter 2 came out, a lot of fighting games were just really slow. And then they were like, wait a minute, what if we just made these really fast? And then they became fun. I feel like an old and janky game that's slow is usually not that fun, but an old and janky game that's fast is usually fun. Like, if a game is really fast, it's hard for it to not be fun at all, you know? All right, Omega Wolf. Taking round one. Yo, look at Hagar with the windscreen. Is this the game that has, like, a zombie in it? Or am I thinking of something else? I must be thinking of something. Why would there be a zombie in a wrestling game? Who's to say? Oh, it's cool that there can be like chat reactions. Those are awesome. Bro, he's turned red. I don't know what that means, but theoretically, that should be a positive for Hagar. Oh, the chase down. I feel like it should be illegal to throw projectiles in a wrestling match. But then again, like, in wrestling, they break all the rules anyway. They, like, punch the ref. All right, Mooney gets one on the board here. My favorite thing, <laughs> my favorite thing about New York is that everything has Statue of Liberty branding. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty branding is just everywhere. And they love when you call it the Big Apple. And also, everyone wears pink. <laughs> do you think they did that so that the background wouldn't be, like, distracting? Or do you think they did it because there's, like, limited number of colors in the palette? That's kind of what I would expect. It's like how, you know, it's Zangief. 
The color of his scars always matches the color of his mouth in Street Fighter 2. Because that had a limited, of, uh, a limited number of, uh, of colors that could be used. Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! All right, Moonin takes game one. Tournament Fighters for Genesis? Guys, guys, these are all games that we've run tournaments for before. That's the premise. The premise of the tournament is that this is the last chance kitchen for all these games that we ran before. Also, I don't think we have any console games on here. Am I wrong? I believe it's arcade games only. It's, it's kind of interesting that Tournament Fighter never had an arcade version. I feel like that's one of the like more popular fighting games that's console only. It's like that and Weapon Lord. <laughs> from from that era, I should say. Hey, thanks for the uh, super chat, Baltazar. Arm Joe tournament. Uh, maybe maybe soon. We'll see. We're gonna have some tournaments lined up for next month. Should be fun. Bro, Hagar. Hagar is reaching. All right, it's match point now for the Moonin. This has been probably the slowest match of <laughs> of Slam Masters 2 the world has ever seen. The projectile zoning. It's like Hagar versus Magneto. Oh my god. That move is really good in Marvel 3. That's the move that you can like cross up with. The two hit jump in, bro. Oh, he got over the projectile. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Moon and push to the corner now. Repeated sweeps. You know what's funny, though, is I don't think we've seen a single throw. All match. Zero throws. All right, Omega will fighting back. Ooh. The drop. Our first throw. As long as you don't throw the match. Omega Wolf. Show me something. Oh my god. Moonin with the lame stuff. Oh, with the air to air. But the knockdown from Hagar. Okay, nice. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, there's the tick throw! It's not gonna be enough though! Oh, goes low! Wait, I feel like Omega Wolf might have figured some stuff out. Some stuff may indeed have been figured out. Yo, thanks for the super chat, Baltazar. You wish more moves were like Taskmaster, Swordmaster, terrible on hit, but incredible on block. It's <laughs> an interesting idea. All right, we're on the ice rink? What the heck? We're, are we slipping and sliding? Oh, the tick throw! Wait a minute. How, was that same side? I don't know how Moonin is crawling this back here. Omega Wolf was in a crazy position. But now it's coming down to the wire. Ooh, the 100 hand slap. The preemptive air to air, though. Moon and barely clinches that one. Match point once again. Are we. We must be in Russia, right? I think we're in Russia because I saw a guy with one of those fuzzy hats. <laughs> and also, it's cold there. Oh, yeah, I guess you can see, like, a Russian Orthodox-looking church in the background. Okay, they're both red. Okay, now only Biff is red. I have no clue what this means. Oh 
Oh, Mega Wolf with a dominating lead. Oh, Moonin trying to bring it back. The preemptive air to air. And Moonin's going to take it. Nicely done. If my eyes do not mis mislead me, that's going to be 2 1 Moonin. Who's up next? Oh, I guess we haven't figured that out yet. Uh,. Yeah, I think Slam Masters 2 came out later than you would think. Didn't this game come out relatively late? That's why the graphics are so good? What year did this come? Oh, no, 94. That's pretty early, actually. And Sat Saturday Night Slam Masters came out really early, right? Oh, in 93. Okay. All right. Uh, I let me pin the uh, bracket real quick. Why did I ban Godzilla Monster War? Who says we <laughs> we didn't ban Godzilla Monster War? It's it, it's uh it's right here on the on the wheel. Right here. All right. All right. It's Zeveros versus PB Fightbix. Zeveros has banned Godzilla. As soon as we get PP Fightbix's ban, we'll be good. All right, I gotta find I gotta find more royalty free music, guys. So yeah, this song right here, this is I don't even want to say it on stream. I want to keep it secret. This is Street Fighter Six Smash and Grab, and th this is the best song. I use this in like every video, and people always comment and ask me what the song is because it's so good. All right, the bands are Godzilla and MK2. I feel like Godzilla and MK2 have been banned repeatedly, so. Clearly, we're, we're seeing some favorites and some unfavorites coming out here. Double Dragon! First appearance of Double Dragon of the day. This is a pretty solid game. Oh my god, there are like 30 people in the Double Dragon lobby. This is this is low key one of the more popular Kusoge on uh, on Fight Kate. That's pretty funny. Am I looking at the right? There's only one Double Dragon, right? Yeah. Well, only one that is a fighting. Game. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The match is up. All right, let's go. We got Eamon. I mean, the, the announcer said it for Eamon versus Billy, and we're fighting on the biplane. <laughs> this is a hype stage. <laughs> Remember they tried to do this in SF5 and everyone hated it? <laughs> It's like the worst stage in SF5. I don't know. Maybe that's a hot take. That's how I personally feel. Oh my god, that explosion though? That explosion though? Bro, the flashing lights. Epilepsy warning. Oh yeah, I gotta change the game title. Hold on. Uh, game name. Double Dragone. Wait, did it not update? Why does it say Slam Masters 2? I made it say Double Dra- Huh? 
pardon? All right, I'll figure that out in a second. Oh my god. All right, Bill Billy. All right, it's 1-1. One, one. This game has quite interesting uh round counters. It's just it's just the orb and the dragon's claw. If the orb is lit, you're on match point. <gasps> Bro, watch out for the birds though. Watch out for them birds. The condor. Ooh, that's a little Yo, wait a minute. That's like Chip. That's like Chip Xanuff right there. Oh my god, okay. Oh, and he fell off, bro! I don't think he's gonna be okay after that. Alright, Zevros takes game one. Oh my god. Alright, let's 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 try uh, getting the game title back again. Billy. Oh yeah, this is also the game where your super bar is on your health bar. I forgot about that too. The blue is the super bar <laughs> and the yellow is health. That's not confusing, right? <laughs> oh, not a dizzy. Oh, that's brutal. It's match point for Zeveros. Bro. The Kunai. We're looking like Chip Zanuff out here. We're in the red light district, true. Bro, look at the look at that neon sign. The the poor is completely missing the glass. What the heck? All right, that's gonna be it. Zeveros <laughs> takes it with a swift 2-0. What a game! What a game! Double Dragon is. All right. Oh yeah, I was gonna pin a comment with, uh, with um, the bracket. Let me do that. All right. Uh. All right, Gundog versus Zevros. Gundog bans Blandia, Zevros bans Godzilla. Everyone's banning Godzilla, huh? Apparently the guy who said Godzilla is banned was right. Daruku Tenchi, the Fallen Angels. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually the game that I most want to get. I actually think that I'm goaded at Daruku Tenchi. I actually think I'm incredibly good at that game now. I've put maybe a little bit too much time into it. I'm kind. I'm. I'm kind of. I'm kind of cracked. I, yeah, I don't know why people are banning Godzilla. I think it might be because of Mothra. Like, Mothra is a really unfun character to fight. And the games last a long time. I think that might be why. It was also one of the more recent games we've run, so maybe people have, like, bad memories. <laughs> but here we go. Yeah, Dark Attention is pretty hype. It, it, it's pretty broken. Like, the top tiers are pretty OP. But it's pretty hype. Double Mothra fight? Oh my god. Kill me now. Kill me now. All right. Let's -a go. They should have got me to play Mario, man, not Chris Pratt. Did you hear the way I delivered Let's-A-Go? 
All right, here comes a new challenge. It's so serious, man. All right, Harry Ness. Oh, who are we going with? Okay, Tarao. Tarao is a known top tier. Tarao, the stinky samurai, <laughs> the, the, the stinky martial artist, is known to be top tier, but Harry, you, you can see he's got six shells stocked, so. We'll have to see what happens with those. So Tarao, the, pr the problem with Tarao is that he has an infinite. That's kind of the issue that this character has. Uh, in general, combos in this game are kind of crazy. Like, everything links into everything. It is worth noting that this game was never fully released. This was a prototype only. So, you know, they might not have had as much time to balance it as they wanted, but... Hey, I mean, look at this. Harry, Harry Ness is... He's making it happen right now. Yeah, make the game flicker more. I know, dude. All these old games, they, like, really did not care about, like, flashing light warnings or anything. At least, uh, Da Kianta has a, a low flashing mode. Oh, he's firing the missiles. Nice air to air, though. Wait a minute! Wait a minute, Gundog's still in it. Ooh, the footsies. The footsies are coming out, man. Ooh, the flying kick. Oh, yeah. Dude, why does this guy have flies? Why does he have flies flying around him? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the jump in. Gundog up 1-0 hasn't even figured out the internet yet. You can't beat a free spirit, apparently. That's true. Like, if... Oh, this is the best stage. I like this stage. Not only does it look cool, but it has, like, rim lighting around all the characters. In a 2D game? No games were doing this back then, man. How sick does this look, man? Ignoring, you know, the implications for people with photosensitivity. Doria! Dude, as soon as Gundog figures out the infinite, it's Jover. Uh-oh. But for now, landing on the missiles. Ooh! You know who Harry Ness kind of reminds me of? is Dragonon. Does anyone else see it? I mean, I know he's supposed to be, like, British. But he reminds me a lot of Dragonon. Yeah, one of the other interesting things about this game is, like, it, it's like Samurai Showdown, where you can only do your super when, like, during a time period. Like, when your super meter fills up, it, like, starts draining, and when it, you can only do your super during that time. Uh, which is kind of jank, like, if you just end up blocking the whole time you're in super mode, it's, like, pretty annoying. But this match point now for Gundog. My man's gonna be smelling like smoke pretty soon. Is there, like, an exploded helicopter on the runway? I guess that's what it is, huh? Such a cool-looking stage. Ooh! Who has that move? Like, the double, the, like, double palms up move? That reminds me so much of another fighting game character. I can't think... Oh, I guess, like, Jack 6. Or Jack 7 or 8. That have that move. But Gundog! So close to taking it now! Can Harry Ness pull anything out? Nope. Gundog takes it. 2-0. 2-0. Well played. Alright, so next up is going to be Wormy versus 8-Foot Octopus. The bands are Toy Fighter and Daraku Tenchi. Let us see. What are the odds? That's a reroll.
They're actually right next to each other. That's kind of funny. Cyberbots! Hype. Hype. Cyberbots first appearance of the day. This is such a sick game, dude. Cyberbots Full Metal Madness. It's kind of funny that they the game really wanted us to get Daruku Tenchi again, huh? <laughs> Shuffleboard player J.M. Croft. <laughs> Bro, I'm so good at that game. <laughs> I'm the GOAT. I'm the GOAT at Shuffleboard. My, my ingrained athleticism really comes out. I start throwing the sand like E-Honda. <laughs> All right, Cyberbots first to two. I, I let me see if there's any other bands for this. Yeah, Warlock band, but I don't even know if you can play Warlock on this version. I'm not sure. Remains to be seen. All right, we're picking our manufacturer here. Deep in thought. I guess we're going Blodia. All right, Reptos versus Blodia. So, you know, Blodia is kind of the Ryu of the game. DP. Fireball. I don't know too much about Reptos, though. But, yeah, the thing about this game is that every character has a dash button. And you can dash in midair, but it uses up your boost gauge. So you can only boost around the screen so much, but as long as you have boost gauge, you have the ability to schmoo. With boost gauge, this is a true schmovement groovement game. But without it, it's just Street Fighter. <laughs> Bro. I like the the premise that these things are like a hundred feet tall or whatever. I guess they're not that big. They're what, like 20, 30 feet tall? The premise of that is really crazy because they're so fast. Like, in real life, nothing that big can move that fast. Isn't, it, isn't there, like, square cube laws or whatever? Yo, look at the... That's what I'm saying, though, with the, with the shmovement, with the boost. Boost can let you do so much cheap stuff. All right, nice throw to get out of the meaty projectile setup. Wait, we got throw loops? SF6? There's the big DP. Blodia DP is gigantic. Ooh, and another throw, and another throw. Wait a minute. How are you throw looping like that, Worm? I didn't know that was possible. All right, we're dropping, firing the lasers. Dropping the homing lasers. I mean, like, tanks go fast, but... They can't change direction that fast, you know what I mean? Like, at some point, the momentum is just gonna, like, destroy the pilot, you know what I mean? Like, how many Gs? Alright, a foot Octopus takes game one. It's all about the G-forces. Alright, what, what tank are we thinking? 40, golden. Okay, we're going for the, the Cyclone. The G-Cyclone. If you shimmied in a... <laughs> if you shimmied in a real-life tank like this, <laughs> you would turn... You'd be liquefied. <laughs> imagine... Imagine... The G-forces these pilots are taking on every shimmy. <laughs> your, fa your face looks like those videos where people do G-force training and their faces just get, like, sprayed back. <laughs> that would 
That's why they took Jin out of the mech in Marvel. Marvel vs. Capcom. They knew. All right, it's match point eight for Octopus. Man, Re Reptos really lets the thing hang, huh? Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how tall the robots are because you can see that there's like, there's like a house there, and there's like scoop loader, construction equipment, and they're they're like tiny, compared to the the sheer size of these lads. But this is looking this is looking like bus ass guys. I hate to say it. Infant octopus looking very dominant. Worm not really able to find a plan here. With Cyclone. Uh oh. Oh, hit out of the air by the projectiles, and here they come, and Eight Foot Octopus takes it 2 0. Well played, well played. All right, it's going to be me versus Perfect Orange. Oh, man. Perfect Orange is good at pretty much every game, which is not good for me. I think I'm going to ban, I'm going to ban, um, hmm, that's tough. What's Perfect Orange's best game? Marshall Masters? All right, I'm going to ban Marshall Masters. Perfect Orange says Godzilla. <laughs> Toy Fighter. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, good times, good times, good times. Yeah, I, I checked my buttons for Toy Fighter like five seconds ago. I'm good. I'm dead. Yeah, Perfect was good at this game, right? I vaguely remember that being a thing. Maybe I'll get a button check bamboozle. Peer verification failed. Uh-oh. Delete your existing one in test game menu. Uh, delete save state. Okay. And now... Okay, save state downloaded. I'm nervous. Just give it a minute. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it takes a minute. <clears throat> uh, mm, uh, mm. Uh, sometimes it just takes a minute, guys. <laughs> Delete system 32. Mm. Uh. How long should I wait before we try again? Okay, it looks like Perfect Orange gave up on waiting. I'll go to online. Maybe I should try getting challenged. <gasps> Let's go. You know, the unfortunate thing is I don't know how to play. That's the one problem. Oh, nice escape. Uh, how do you sidestep? Oh, there, that's how. I, I found it. N nice escape. Dude, the escapes are on point. You better stop escaping, bro. You better stop escaping. 
Alright, now I gotta figure out how to super. Oh, I figured it out. <laughs> what the heck? I'm dead already? What a fool I was. Oh, am I in the infinite? Oh, no. How do I wake up? <laughs> this is like playing Tekken in the old days when you didn't know how to wake up. One life point. Oh no! How am I losing like this? This is actually a joke. This is actually a joke, bro. Alright, that's not good. I'm gonna run it back. I mean, I don't. G Gushy Ken, what a name. I don't know how to play anyone. Dude, look at look at the repeated look at the wave dash tech in this game. One point. I'm getting hit again. His comes out so much faster. Bro, I lose three off of that? What are they thinking? I just need him to not escape one time and then think of the think of the damage I'll get. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, GG's. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> he doesn't know? True. I truly don't know. I truly don't know, guys. I truly don't know. Alright, GG's. Body guys, this is my stream. You're legally obligated to support me in all my endeavors. All right, it's wor Wormy versus Omega Wolf. Wormy bans Toy Fighter. Omega Wolf bans Godzilla. I'm sorry to the person who wanted Godzilla. Everyone's banning it. Oh wait, they already. Never mind. I guess they're never mind. They're playing off stream. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore this. Ignore. Ignore this role. Ignore this role. <laughs> okay, it's Serba Frank versus Moonin on stream. Serba Frank banned Ahari Minata and Moonin banned MK2. All right, now I'm rolling. The rolling is the most fun part. Battle K Road. This is a good one. I actually like this one more than most. It's funny, if you put battle into Fightcade, I swear to God, there's 10 million games. <laughs> there's 10 million games with battle in the, in the title. All right. Battle K Road. Yeah, Perfect Getting Toy Fighter was kind of cheap. Kind of cheap, I gotta say. I gotta say, guys, but I'm still alive in loser side. I'm still alive in loser side. You just gotta believe. You just gotta believe in miracles. All right. Moonin's played this game so much that he's got C rank. Oh, wait, no, that's Serba Frank. Serba Frank's played this game so much that he has C rank in it. That's pretty funny. All right, Cyborg T8P. This is the, the Terminator versus Jeff. I think my name of Jeff is is known to be top tier. 
At least amongst amongst the elite tournament scene that we've cultivated for this game in our Discord server. Jeff is pretty good. Huh. Damn, not the knockdown. That correct me if I'm wrong, does the cyborg have a projectile? For some reason I thought Cyborg had a projectile, but maybe not. He just has slappers only, like Goldeneye. Oh my god. A Sir Bob Frank looking dominant. It is Arnold versus Tyson, very true. The dream match. Whenever we play one of these games, I always ask myself, would I be happy if I got this game for Christmas when I was a kid? For this one, I think the answer is probably no. But there are games on the list that, oh my God, why did that do infinite damage? What the heck? Yo, his face is falling off his face. Bro. But yeah, like games that I wouldn't have been upset to get as a kid. Like obviously Toy Fighter. I would have been so hyped for a Toy Fighter as a kid. But this game... I don't know. This is also a little before my time. Bro, look at the damage. Ooh, the suplex city. Yeah, Cyberbots would have been sick as a kid. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing is that like, bad games are fun now because we can play them for free. <laughs> because of emulation. Like, if you paid 50 bucks for one of these games, like, yeah, you would be disappointed. Because they're all pretty bad. Except MK. And Toy Fighter. And a few others. Alright, it's match point, Servbot Frank. Ooh, the suplex. Moon is trying to fight back here, but... Ooh. Got the palm... The the palm heel strike. Send his break his nose. Send the shards into the brain. Uh oh. Sir Bob Frank. Inches away. Moon trying to zone with the palm heel strike, but it's not gonna do it. Sir Bob Frank takes it 2 0. Sir Bob Frank takes it 2 0. Well played. Yeah, the di the dive kick punch is really good. Uh, the bracket is a pinned comment, guys. It's up at the top. Up at the top. All right. We'll figure out what our next match is, and then we get to do everyone's favorite part. I mean, this is really what the stream is about, right? This stream is all about spinning the wheel. I think everybody has a little bit of a uh, gambling addiction in them. All right, it's Gundog versus Mixtape. Gundog bans Blandia. Understandable. Mixtape bands Ahari Manada. Ragnagard. This is the realm of Cheech Nene. But we'll have to see who our who our two players decide to go with. By the way, if you guys don't know, this song is SF6 character creation. Let's see. Is there... Is there like a three-hour version of this? Someone needs to make like a three-hour version of this. Thing. I only see two-minute ones on YouTube. But this is one of the best songs in SF6 as well.
All right. Let's go. SF6 character creation stream? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty much planning on streaming SF6, like, all day, every day for at least a couple weeks after it comes out. Oh, no. Cheat. Yo, this is the exact same matchup we saw before. Cheech Nene versus Son Goku. Let's see. Mr. Mixtape tends to do pretty well in all these tournaments, but does he have an answer for Cheech Nene? Gundog, of course, multi-time Fightcade Frenzy and JM Cup winner. Also, we're back on the monkey stage. <laughs> the monkey music is so hype. Look at the footsies, though. We're whiffing jab from like a half screen away. I'm showing reruns. <laughs> nah, this time Son Goku has a chance. I believe. You just have to knock it nae on. That's the trick. Just don't let her do the nae on you. From Dragon Ball Fighters to this. <laughs> yeah, Goku has been nerfed a few too many times. I was always bummed that they never put uh, original Dragon Ball Goku in Dragon Ball Fighters. I mean, like, I know GT Goku has probably more to work with in terms of moves, but Dragon Ball Goku would have been so cool. But then again, you know, GT Goku has, like, the stick and stuff, so they'd be pretty similar. Yo, the air-to-air? -air? Mixtape with the fundies? The fundamentals taking game one. That is true that this is another game with pre-rendered sprites and monkeys. <laughs> What'd ya expect? You faced the best. I like that. That spelling of what ya? Exactly, dude. Kid, Kid Goku is such a funny character. Wait, are we doing the mirror match tech? When you lose to a character, pick that character. This is classic mystery tournament tech. But the problem is Mixtape does have one round of experience with Son Goku coming into this. So will the experience advantage come into play? That was a nice air to air, man. No punish on the DP. Who even knows if that's punishable? It's impossible to say. Bro, the down jab? Was that a combo? <laughs> what is that down jab combo? Gundog. Dude, it's starting to seem like Gundog might be pretty good with Son Goku. There is guard canceling in the game, right? I vaguely remember that being a thing. But I don't know if anyone knows how to do it. Bro. Gundog is too good with Goku right now. Oh my god, the two hit overhead into 10 million jabs. Oh my god, the pressure is too much! The pressure is simply too much. Brother. Alright, we're going to game three. And I thought you might be good. Dot, dot, dot. All right, here comes a new challenger. Son Goku. All right, both these fighters are about to go bananas here in game three. Mixtape with all the momentum here. Momentum, such an important factor. In this game so far, there's the double, the two-piece overhead. Oh, no. This is the infinite right here. It's just jabs, jabs, and dash overhead. Oh, my God. Jab, jab, sweep. Mixtape on match point all of a sudden. Looking a lot stronger. 
Able to completely rush down Gundog. Ooh! <laughs> what is that kick? Oh my god. The jab is crazy, though. Legit, like, five jabs does, like, 50%. Please say it ain't so. Please, not like this! Not like this. Game crash. Alright, we're running it back 1-1. One, one. Oh, yikes, bikes. Yikes, bikes, chat. This is the problem with, with running tournaments on Fightcade, guys. Uh, yeah, not enough dedicated wham. It, uh, <laughs> Son Goku ate it all up. Bruh. <sighs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Game immediately crashed again. Uh-oh. All right, we're trying we're trying the the restart fight cade tech. Yeah, that's true. It, it is it is kind of like killer instinct. The visuals. That's true. What do you guys think of my game show stage? It's from Google Image Search. <laughs> but it feels like I'm really there, doesn't it? Feels like we're we're really about to about to start the game here. Like any game show, we have to get through a few a uh, few hours of technical difficulty. at a black screen I'm looking at a game let's go all right <laughs> I was looking at a game now I'm looking at a crash the <laughs> what what's going on guys <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right. All right. All right. It's 1-1. One, one. Goku versus Goku. I, I know I am going to have to pull out the sock puppets, man. I, I can't entertain a stream chat without a game in the background. Why do you guys think I became a gaming streamer? And not just chatting. I'm going to have to become a hot tub streamer pretty soon. Bro, the repeated jabs is actually so strong. <laughs> Ooh, the air reset. I gotta say, you know, they both, they have a strat. And they're sticking with it. Ooh, footsies! The infinite? I believe there is a way to air tech in this game, but I don't know how. <laughs> Alright, mixtape up one round again. Bro, it feels like everything this character does is plus. Bro, the jab, 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 jab combo. <gasps> Can Mixtape get the infinite going again? A little too far. Oh no, it's 1-1. One, one.
I think this game might be cursed. Hold on, was that a spectate glitch? No, it was not a spectate glitch. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> this is why I'm glad that I'm not the TO because I don't have to deal with this kind of. I just sit back and wait, and wait for decisions to be made. I just sit back and let <laughs> flip a coin. <laughs> uh okay we're doing we're doing last game last round we're doing okay i like this decision it's last game last round because they both won a round <laughs> it's one round <laughs> one round victory and if that doesn't work we flip a coin i like this idea <laughs> it's one round <laughs> that is so funny dude are we gonna have to ban Ragnarok? Well, we had we had one set that worked fine on Ragnarok. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. It's one one. <laughs> it's one one. Last game, last round. All right, <laughs> for all the marbles. <laughs> Son Goku. Who, who? Oh my god, Mixtape is off to a commanding start here. The jabs, the jabs, the sweeps, the beeps, the bleeps, the creeps. Jumps into the corner. Gave the opponent some room to work with here. Oh, nice. The reverse sweep here. Okay, another knockdown. What's the schmix? Oh, and yeah, you can't give the opponent the opportunity to jab back. <laughs> oh, yeah, the fact that the overhead beats jab, that's the rock, paper, scissors <laughs> of this neutral right here. Yo, Gundog, wait, Gundog is in there. Yeah, Mixtape has to jump out of the corner to try to get some room. There's only 12 seconds on the timer. <laughs> Mixtape wants to just lame it out. Oh, that air to air was huge. I think Gundog has the life lead. No, Mixtape, you need a hit. You need a hit. There's zero seconds left. God dog, takes it. God dog takes it with the timeout. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> GG's, dude. Ima imagine if there was if there was a draw. <laughs> that would be so crazy, dude. All right, all right. Let me scroll up a million. Uh, okay. Chunkster banned Rainbow Edition, Moon and Band MK2. Alright, Don Kuga. Don Kuga. This is my game right here. Clearly I'm clearly I'm goaded at this, right? Don Kuga, man. Son Goku. There's already people in the lobby playing. People already know. They already know that this game is goaded. <laughs> Everybody wants to play some Dang Danku Ga. What a game. All right. Um, All right, we're in there. It's Bart's versus Kazuya. So, you know, unlike in Smash, Kazuya is actually a Shoto in this game. And he's really good, too. Oh my god, the Mirror Breaker. Yo, Bart's. Bart's go easy on him. <laughs> that flip kick. That flip kick was crazy. Oof, thrown into the corner. Did he just say Don Kuga when he did that move? Is that why this game's called that? 
I swear, when he did uppercut, he was like, Don Kuga. Do we need more volume? It's just annoying, like, some games are, like, crazy loud. And some are not loud at all. Ooh, the ant here? Yeah, Don Kuga! That's the name of the move! Guys, we've solved the lore. He says, like, Hikoken and Don Kuga. But right now, he's saying Og. Because <laughs> Trunkster's taking round one here with Bart's. This game has a really pretty character select screen. Oof. Kazuya. Gonna have to find some answers here. Or else our, our intrepid T.O. Moonen could be sent home. Ooh, the throw into the corner. Alright, the crush meter is full. Which, to be honest, I barely know what that does. <laughs> like, okay, it just made lightning appear. I don't know why. Ooh, the block Don Kuga, and then there's the rush punch using the meter. It's match point now for Chunkster. Oh, we're on the... We're, we went to a, a higher floor. I actually didn't notice that. On the level, I mean. Rolling a strike. Bro, you're breaking the boards! Be careful, the destructible environments. Oh, okay. Moonin found some stuff. <laughs> mada mada dana. <laughs> I like the voice acting in this. Bro. Bart's is not holding back right now. The jabs. Alright, thrown into the corner though. Moon has got so much room to work with. Oh, but that rush punch, it didn't do a lot of damage. Bro, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Moon got some Shoto fundamentals coming out here. That lightning was kind of awkward. Don Kuga! Bro. Bro, this is so close! Oh, he floated like a butterfly above the fireball. And Muda takes game two. We're going to game three. The doctor comes in. He's like, I can't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I tried my best. All right. Game three, let's go get hype. <laughs> Finally, some good food. Dankuga. We're on the biker stage. They're gonna break these garage doors any second now. Uh oh, the lightning. I, you know, I still don't know what the lightning does. Extra damage? Doesn't even seem like it. Uh-oh, Moonin on match point. What a comeback this would be. What a comeback this would be. I like the biker in the background just freaking out. Oh, okay, we broke it through the chain fence. We're on the basketball court now. Well, what's, whoa, what's happening on, with that biker on the right side? That seems not safe for work. What's, what's going on? All right, Chunkster. Oh, that DP is huge. Oh, and we got the whiff flash kick. Moon and going for chip here takes it. Oh my god. Two to one. Well played. Well played. Yeah, no, the lightning happens when you land a special move when you have full meter and it drains your meter. But it doesn't, like, seem to do anything. I don't really get it. It's a little weird. Uh, okay. All right, we're doing me versus Zeveros. Um, are we back? I think we're back. All right, so I am indeed playing next. 
Zevros has banned Daraku Tenchi, which smart move, because that's my best game. I'm I'm the goat at Daraku Tenchi. I'm gonna ban. I guess I'll I'll ban. Rainbow Edition. Rabbit. First appearance of Rabbit today. Let me just fire it up. It's funny, there's two games with Rabbit in the name. There's Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage, and then there's Rabbit. Yeah, Rabbit is pretty solid. Zevros, I can't challenge you if you're set to not available. Yeah, we've seen almost every game. Yeah, Jackie Chan. No one's banned Jackie Chan, and no one's landed on it, which is unfortunate. Okay, good start. Good start, good start. Rakuga Kids? No, I've never heard of it. All right. I'm going Tianren. Yo, wait a minute. Is Zevros goaded at this? Or am I just bad? Nice uppercut. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't remember how to air dash with Tian Ren. <laughs> That's the problem I'm having. Tian Ren has air dash, but I can't remember how. It's not double tap forward, I don't think. Oh, I think I, I must have to have the eagle out to do it. I don't remember that. But I don't remember how to do that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Somehow. Somehow I'm bringing this back. I just don't know any moves, you know? That's kind of my issue.
it's not all four buttons. Oof, I'm getting smoked. Clearly, I should have done training mode, man. I don't remember. I don't remember how to activate. I know. I know my character is broken, so I'm gonna run it back. I just got to figure out how to activate the bird. Like, I can't even figure out how to, like, cycle. Like, you can you can cycle through... ...the Beast Force. I need that. Oh, it's down, down? Okay. So then I just gotta go to Eagle, right? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Those are, like, the alternate ones. Okay, I figured out how to get the eagle. I don't know. I don't actually know how I did it, but I can air dash now. Okay, okay. Immediately died. Okay, somehow I won that. The precursor to JoJo's, true. All right, I figured out how to activate one time and I've never successfully done it again. Dude, dashing in this game is crazy. DP. Let's go! It's 1-1. One, one. Alright. Look at the font on Here Comes the New Challenger. Why is that font so funny for me? For Jam, it's been a bit too long. That and I, I lost first round in this tournament, so. When we, when last time we played this like two years ago, I lost first round, so I don't remember much. I know that combo though. I don't know how to use my meter or <laughs> turn on air dash mo mode, but. Uh oh. Damn, I'm getting hit out of my reversal here. Okay, that move is not invincible in the slightest. All right, all right, all right, all right. Last game, last round. <laughs> Never noticed I was bald. Yeah, it's subtle. It's subtle. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine! I, I don't know how I won, bro. I don't know how I won. No clue how to use meter, no combos.
I'll take it though. Still alive. All right, so mixtape versus Pabungus. Mixtape bans Blandia. Pabungus bans Toy Fighter. Let us spin. Refresh my memory of supers, bro. Like, there's 19 games on the list. I can't know all of them. It's fine. I just accept that there are some games I don't know. Ahari Manata. First, first appearance of the great Ahari Minata today. Doesn't hurt to look it up in case it pops up again. Yeah, but I could look up literally any game on the list and they would all be equally valuable. You know what I mean? Like, why look up that game instead of looking up how to do moves in a different game? And uh, Stream doesn't want to sit and wait for me to look stuff up either, so... Mixtape versus Pabungus. Ah, Hari Manada. Anyone remember how to play this? All I remember is <laughs> mashing. Mashing is like the secret to winning this game. That's all I really remember. What about Brain F challenge? <laughs> I, I tried the challenge once. I haven't gone back to it. It's pretty hard. Rabbit is the game we played about two minutes ago. It's pretty good. Dude, this character select theme is so lit. Oh, it's me versus Moonin after this. Let's go. All right. Two characters I don't know the names of. <laughs> the music is so intense. Dude, this is it. This is the infinite right here. That's the infinite right there. Mixtape has the tech. Ooh, the slappers. The slappers. Ooh, not the grab. Pushing him to the corner. If you get thrown out, it's an instant loss. Oh, they're getting close. Oh, no. Oh, no, not the slaps. Oh, he's out. <laughs> <sighs> Mixtape takes game one in convincing fashion. It definitely does seem like size is a big advantage in this game. Similar to real sumo wrestling. Alright, he's picking one of the big boys. Hoi. Hoi. Oh my god, he's big. Look at it. <laughs> Footsies. This is the ultimate footsies. Bro, throw him out. Throw him out. Throw him out the ring. I want to see it. I want to see it. Throw him out. Bro, he's getting pushed. He's getting pushed. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to fight for position. No, he fell <laughs> on the pillows. Oh, not the point. That's dramatic. I know. Damn, boy, he thick, boy. That's a thick ass boy. Damn. <laughs> he's massive. He's massive, bro. All right, how you gonna how you gonna get him out? Oh, slap him across the face. Yeah, the jump. Jumping into the corner seems less than ideal. Bro, you're so close to getting wrung out. There it goes, mixtape. With the fastest 2-0 ever seen. Good God. 
That was that was brutality. All right, it's me versus Moonin. What's Moonin's best game? Moonin Moonin destroyed me at Cyberbots last time, so I think I'm gonna ban that. I banned Cyberbots. Let's see what Moonin's ban is. Yeah, Blandia's on the wheel. All right, Moonin bans Daraku Tenchi. That's my best game, so smart move. Oh, oh, you guys can't see. There you go. Sorry. Ragnagard! All right. Ragnagard it is. Uh, this is apparently the crashy game today, so... We'll see. <laughs> Moonin posted some expletives in the chat, so Moonin apparently not happy to see Ragnagard. I don't know how to play this game, so. Moonin doesn't have too much to worry about. Sigma card doesn't care if it crashes, true. I mean, listen. I hate to do it, but. I gotta go with Son Goku, man. I'm sorry. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win, so I, I gotta steal some of the tech. Ooh, nice. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Son Goku. This game is kind of cool, to be honest. Bro, the no punish. Yo, wait, that was sick. But I have jab, jab, jab. <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. It, I think that the only reason we're getting this stage every time is because everyone's picking Son Goku. And that's his stage, I assume. Binten. Son Goku. Son Goku. Yeah, the jabs like they like don't scale, so the jabs do ridiculous damage. It's kind of nuts. All right, I have a plan. I have a plan this time. Ooh, nice. Thanks for the strat mixtape. Oh my god, that kill.
<laughs> oh, nice. Let's go. GG's, Moonin. GG's. I'm sorry, I had to do it to him. I had to do some cheap stuff. I'm sorry to this man. <laughs> uh... All right, who's next? Wormy versus mixtape. The animations are very smooth. There are there are a lot of frames. All right, Wormy bans Toy Fighter. And mixtape bans Plasma Sword. So basically, the two the two Flycast game. Cyberbots. That's a good one. Good game. Good game, Cyberbots. Full Metal Madness. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's funny, like, some of these games are over in, like, literally five seconds. <laughs> A lot of times, like, the wait between matches is a lot longer than the match itself. It's crazy. It's crazy. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, it would really help me out if you could hit the like button. It gets the stream put on people's YouTube feeds. It helps out quite a bit. So if you guys could do that if you haven't already, I would appreciate it. All right. Santana... versus Arietta. But the, the pilot doesn't matter. It's Cyclone versus Riot. That's what really matters. Oh, we're floating. We floating. That boot that boost is getting boosted. It's getting boast. Look at yo, look at How does Riot stay up so long? What the heck? What are these strats by mixtape? What does mixtape know that we don't? He was just chilling at the top of the screen forever. Oh, I think it's because during his special move, he doesn't use burst. So he, or boost. So he just has to like float between every special. Wait a minute. This is some high level tech. This is some high level technique. Oh, he's blap, blap, blasting. I think Mixtape might have been in the lab, man. It seems like Mixtape has some strats. I gotta say. Oh my god. Yeah, you can see that Mo Moonin is kind of like alternating between which gauge gets drained. Like the weapon gauge and the boost gauge. To get maximum use out of both of them. This is very clever stuff. But I'm Worm. Playing Cyclone might have something to say about this. I always think it's so funny that in this game you can pick a pilot that is like purely cosmetic. I kind of wish more games had something like that. Like it doesn't do anything, it's just flavor. It's like how in Magic you could like change your card sleeves or you could have like different art on your lands or whatever. Like, I think that's fun. Mixtape, you're looking way too nice with it, bro. Mixtape, the consummate professional. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Worm has good positioning. Mixtape escapes the corner with the with the dig. He's digging the tunnel. Oh, the bullets barely gonna do it, man. That explosion looks so good. That's crazy. That explosion looks crazy. All right, mixtape up 1-0. Warning you face a new opponent. All right, we're running it back. Wow. 
Bro, what is this move from Mixtape with like the, the jets coming down? That seems crazy. Mixtape doing a very good job of not overheating the weapon as well. Just really solid play all around here. Look at this, flo floating above all the problems. Worm does have the life lead. But Mixtape has really been controlling the neutral, it feels like. Ooh! It's kind of like Sentinel Battle. Like, you want to get above the opponent and angle something down at them. Oh, floats above the super, but Mixtape does lose the round. Wait a minute. Target damaged. <laughs> Rank B average. No, this game actually is really sick. Like, the, the eight-way, like, float boost in the game is a really, really fun mechanic. Oh, not the OTG grab tech. I don't know how that works. We've seen that before. Like, you're able to, like, grab loop people after they ground tech. Yeah, we might be seeing a, a download situation. Mixtape is giving up on the zoning strat, it looks like. Yeah, see, there's the there's the tech, you know. Oof. Let's go. Worm found a good strat. It's working out well. Just rushing him down. Go on command zone? Dude, I wish, man. That would be so sick. That would be... I, I have four Street Fighter decks built. I would do it. But I think I'm too small time. <laughs> I think I'm too small time. They don't know who I am. But that would be the dream. Ooh, look at the, the projectile trade. But here's the throw. And then here's the post-throw Oki. This has been such a nightmare for everyone to deal with. Oh, yeah, Mixtape switched to Blodia, by the way. Yeah, wants access to that big Dragon Punch. Dragon Punch is a crazy powerful tool in this game where everyone's always taken to the air. Ooh, the DP. There's the grab. So, anyway, I started blasting. Mixtape has the corner. Looking for a big DP, I'm sure. Yep, there it was. So close to the kill now. Oh, no! Chip becoming a factor, but there's the bullet. It's match point. Match point mixtape. Will the character change pay off? This is another beautiful stage. Really incredible looking. Ooh, I don't even know if that was a real combo, but it kind of looked like it. Yo, throw loops? The throw loops actually get me so hyped. Ooh, he's in there, but all blocked. You can block air to air. But there's the tick grab into the OTG grab. Mixtape has him on just a pixel now. Any DP will do it, and there it is. Mixtape takes it two to one. Close match. Very, very well played by both players. All right, next up is Perfect Orange versus Servbot Frank. The bands are going to be Godzilla and Toy Fighter. Let us see. Ragnarok again! This is the most cursed game, and we've gotten it a bunch of times. Uh-oh. I think Perfect is... Perfect is the Cheech Nene master. Let's see if this works. Is, is this the third or fourth Ragnarok we've had? It's crazy, man. Yeah, Goku stage. We might not get it. We might get Cheech Nene stage. Where do you download Fightcade? Uh, I believe Fightcade.com. I know it's hard to remember. <laughs> no, not the mirror. Not the mirror match. We are indeed going to Cheech Nene stage.
This is gonna be cursed. This is gonna be mad cursed. The dive kicks. The Tatsu. Ooh, look at that. Look at the air movement from Perfect. Ooh, okay, Frank gets the big knockdown. Oh yeah, here we go. The classic, the classic. Oh my gosh, what a matchup. The thing about that move is it's just too hard to punt it. It's like crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, like you think it's over and then she just does another one and you get hit. Bro. Frank though gets the defensive throw there. This is a huge opportunity, but there's the cha-chas. The chi chi cha-chas. Bruh. This character is so cheap. This character is actually so cheap. Is that an air reset loop? Dude, that, that move is actually broken. What do you do about that? But there's the nice air reset attempt, but Frank manages to tech out. Yo, the dive kick. Can we get a punish? No, instead you're just left spinning. Oh my God, it looked like Frank had a chance there, but perfect taking game one. Bro, this Chi Chi Nene, man. This Chi Chi Nene. This character is ridiculous. All right, please don't tell me we have another decent. Okay, 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 okay. Fightcade isn't a crypto scam, is it? Well, <laughs> depends on, uh, have you downloaded your Chi Chi Nene coins? The whole time you're playing this game, it's, it's mining Chi Chi Nene coins with your uh, CPU. That's why the graphics look so good. It uses 100% of your GPU. Yo, nice little punish there. But this is looking pretty good for Sir Bot Frank so far. Yeah, Stick is low-key, like, the worst controller to play with. <laughs> but I think it's one of the most intuitive. So I think it's good for beginners. And it's fun. And if you learn Stick, you can play on arcade machines, which is fun. So it has some benefits. But, like, for pure competition, like, yeah, Hitbox and... Leverless is the best, and then Pad is pretty good, too. Dude, Chi Chi Nene the goat. No time, so Serba Frank. Gonna lame this one out. <laughs> Her win pose is so disrespectful. Dude, this air combo is crazy. Not even that much damage, but it feels very disrespectful to be hit by it. This is the infinite right here. The block stun infinite. Thank God there's air blocking in this. Can you imagine? The movement is so funny. Wait a minute, this is huge for Frank. This is a big opportunity. You can just apply pressure here. Ooh, the air-to-air -air trade. Time gonna become a factor soon, but Perfect takes the life lead. Oh my god, that was so much damage on that combo. Now Perfect just gonna lame it out. Perfect definitely not afraid to run. Barely has the life lead. Wins by another timeout. Okay, it's match point Perfect.
I can't tell, like, are they switching, like, with the one in the background? I can't even tell. Like, I'm trying to pay attention to the colors, but it's not really helping. Yes! Wait, did they switch there? Or... No, I guess not. It's always been green in the back, right? I don't know how this character works. Bro, wait a minute. Perfect trying to bring this back? Or, I mean, Serbot Frank trying to bring this back, but down to just a pixel now. I don't even know who's who, man. These cheech, these cheechy nanes. Ooh! Serbot Frank pulls off the hype combo. First time we've seen it. Five seconds left. Perfect trying to lame it out. Oh, no. Gonna win on another timeout. What a shame. What a shame. It's so sad. Perfect wins. Perfect wins. Okay, Gundog versus 8-Foot Octopus is up next. Uh, Gundog bans Blandia, I understand. And 8-Foot Octopus bans Ahari Minata, which I think is a good choice against Gundog. Let's see. Rabbit! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Protect your ears. Protect your ears, chat. Rab is pretty cool. I don't remember if Gundog was playing back in the back in the day when we played Rabbit. Yeah, B Blandia. B I I would like to see Blandia once, just for fun. I would like to see one one round of Blandia. Yeah, Chi Chi Mirror is pretty pretty damn boring. For sure. But the thing is, I, I feel like if we knew how to play the game, that game has like a lot of tech that nobody <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> I think if we knew how to play the game, we might stand it, it might be more entertaining. Cause I think there aren't there like guard cancels and stuff or like parries or something. Uh Blandia is one of the worst games that we've ever done in these tournaments. That's why everyone's banning it. It's just really like boring and uh, and jank. Alright, Tian Ren versus Wu Ling. Let's see it. Oh my god, this game is fast. I really like this game, except the sound. The sound is so ear splitting. I think it might be an emulator issue. The, the art in this is really good, though. It's really impressive. It definitely reminds me of, like, a Saturday morning cartoon, don't you think? Like, especially the animals. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing about Blandia is that you can't mirror match. You can't mirror match. Crazy. Bro, look at the, the rabbit tech. This is, this is the titular rabbit. Right here. Hua, hua. Yeah, that fireball is really good from Tian Ren, but Wu Ling with the umbrella tech, umbrella corp. Well done. Get ready. All right, here's the bull. Grab the bull by the horns. All right, we got the bird install active, which means there's there's access to air fireball and there's access to air dash. So every character has a unique install, and then they can also call in the other animals to do like a one-off super. So it's kind of interesting. There are a lot of ways to use your meter. Gumball gets the big throw. Ooh, the air fireball jumped over. Wait a minute. Oh, huge air fireball, though. Air fireball, ground fireball. Oh, jumps away from the super. This is getting scary. Hawk meter almost gone now. Seven seconds on the clock. 
Oh, eight foot octopus with the jab is gonna take game one. Yeah, you really do have an entire beast force. That is true. Don't move. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, then. Yeah, I think Tianren is pretty top tier because of the because of the Hawk install. I think the Eagle install is really good. If you can utilize the air dashing and stuff. And yeah, there's short hopping in this game. There's a lot of cool stuff with this game. The slappers. Yeah, jump fierce is pretty good. You can also do jump both punches with Tian Ren to get like a bigger hitbox jump move. Like, the character has so many tools. Ooh, the rabbit double jump though? Utilizing the rabbit and stuff. I like how the rabbit's just back there like cheering him on. Like, yeah. Get this guy. Oh my god. Gundog gets another round on the board. Why why are this game sprites so good? They're actually like crazy good. It's ridiculous. Ha ha. Eight foot octopus trying to claw this back. Gundog, you know, always has pretty good defense. And I think that's really coming into play here. Not getting opened up too easily. Just simple offense, footsies, airsies, and it's going to be 1 1. Dude, the, the hawk. The Hawk is for sure. Definitely like, it's like um, Scruff McGruff or something. Like, like that, that level of uh, <laughs> Saturday morning cartoon power here. But we're going into game three. This is another game that like randomly, despite the fact that the movement of the game is really fast, there's a lot of timeouts. No one really knows how to do damage. Yo, the snake. Watch out for the sneaky snake. Yo, Gundog is really learning on the fly here. Here's the bull. Don't grab him by the horns. All right, it's match point Gundog. It's match point. All right, we're going for the zoning strats here. Fireballs and uppercuts. I think it's actually better to uppercut with Tian Ren down heavy punch though. That's yeah, kind of a better hitbox though. Hooah, hooah. That sweep. Crazy range on that. And it's special cancelable. Another reason why this character is kind of broken. But it's not mattering here. Gundog, too solid. It's going to take it 2-1. to one. Sparing us from the timeout. So next up is Serba Frank versus Mixtape. The bands are Hari Minata and Blandia. You, you know, Blandia is a very respectable band. I would like to see Jackie Chan. How have we not had Jackie Chan yet? Okay, this band, this band. Ahem, this is band. Rabbit again! Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's the will of the wheel. It's the will of the wheel. As much as I want to see Jackie Chan. 
It's the will of the wheel. By the way, guys, I have been secretly informed that apparently Moonin has like a surprise for us at the end of this. Apparently the last game is going to be an off wheel pick. So I'm curious to see what that is. So make sure you guys don't go anywhere. We're getting close to the end here. We only have like four matches left or something. So you guys are not going to want to miss it. The shenanigans. Nothing but the nastiest shenanigans. He is a nasty creature. <laughs> Do you guys know that TikTok? <laughs> the life form. <laughs> what does he say? He's a nasty creature. Yuck. Do not like. All right. Little Eddie versus Egith. Yo, Little Eddie is a known problem in this game. Little Eddie is so top tier. So mixtape, mixtape going for top tier, but Serba Frank trying to earn the respect of the crowd by picking Egith. If you guys thought this game was like JoJo's, what do you think now? Look at this guy. I can't tell if this guy's straight out of JoJo's or straight out of One Piece. It's a little bit of both. The problem with this baby, this baby is just too fast. Like, the jump speed is crazy fast, and the normals are, like, impossible to deal with. So, little little Eddie, little Eddie is a very cruel character to fight. And, visually, I do not like. Very disturbing character as well. Like, why is it a baby? It's a stand without a user? True. I actually don't even know what little Eddie's spirit animal is. Let me see if I can use process of elimination. I actually have no clue. Is it the wolf or something? No, the wolf is on the beast force gate. I actually have no clue. It's the boar. Oh. But clearly mixtape doesn't need it. Taking game one. In convincing fashion. Dude, little Eddie is such a nasty little guy. I I think Little Eddie might be an adult. I actually don't know. It might just be an outfit, but like the way that this character is built. Built like the whale from the movie The Whale. I wanna believe in Egith, dude. Egith with the high heel boots. What a character. Listen to the sound effect on the footsteps, too. Oh, my God. Oh, Sir Buff Frank trying to bring this one back against all odds. Is it possible? No, the range. Despite the name, Little Eddie has big range. A disgusting creature. Yuck, do not like. The, the down jab from Egith is such a boss normal, but it's not enough to deal with Little Eddie. I like when Little Eddie, his mic stand, turns into a unicycle. That's fun. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sir Bob Frank giving us signs of hope. Look at the footsies, man. The shimmies. Mixtape is low-key nice with it. I say right as Sir Bob Frank takes a round. The sprite scaling in this game doesn't look that bad either. That's another th A lot of these games, they were like experimenting with sprite scaling and it looks really jank. This game, it doesn't look bad. Oh my god, look at the spacing on the sweep, the throw loops incoming. Oh my god, this character is cheap. Jeep mixtape takes it 2-0. Well played. Next up is Eight Foot Octopus versus me. Octopus bans Rabbit. Uh, I'm gonna ban. What what game have we seen the most besides Rabbit? Oh yeah, um, Ragnarok. I'll ban Ragnarok. <laughs> Blandy. <laughs> it came true. It came true. <laughs> 
Let's go. Let's go. We were all waiting for some good old fashioned Blandia. Am I right, gamers? Am I right? We all wanted it. We all wanted it. Oh, no. You guys already know who I'm about to pick. You guys know who I'm picking, right? Um, wait, Ape Foot Octopus wants to pick McGill? I wanted to pick McGill. All right, I can't challenge you. Blandia. I'm not happy about this. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit happy we did get to see it one time. Oh yeah, so no mirror matches in this game. All right, McGill. I'm gonna go Dickles. I'm gonna go Dickles. McGill, McGill is really, really strong. So. This might be really hard, but... Not my armor. <laughs> what a good game, bro. Oh, not the throw! Life bars at the bottom, like any good fighting game. Are the pots and pans starting it? Oh no. No, not the throw! Oh my god. <laughs> the pots and pans. It's Diocles? Nah, it's Dickles. Buy some reading glasses, kid. It's like so hard to do moves in this game. What was that? Not looking good for for your boy so far. Yo! <laughs> Not looking good for your boy so far. All right, Dickles. Carry me, bro. Oh my god. I like how there's randomly throw teching in the game as well. I don't think my character has any ant ears. I get thrown there McGill McGill the goat the McGoat Can't stop the jumps. Oh, 
Alright, GG's. <laughs> GG's. What a way to go! <laughs> what a way to go out on Blandia. On Blandia. GG's. Dick Dickles couldn't help me. Alright, who's next? We're we're into the top four now. Yeah, no, the, the song is literally like two measures long and they just loop it. Alright, mixtape versus octopus. Let's see what the bands are. Ragnagard band. Blandia band. Understandable. Slam Masters 2. How have we not gotten Jackie Chan, man? We haven't gotten Jackie Chan or Superior Soldiers. Or Plasma Sword. There are some other games we haven't gotten, but they've been banned a lot. I think out of all the games that have never been banned, those are the only ones we haven't gotten. All right. Slam Masters. Ring of Destruction. Should be a good one. Ugh. Come on and slam, and welcome to Japan. All right, let's go. We're in there already. Come on and slam, if you want to jam. Ooh, we're in Los Angeles. I think that's how they spell it in the game. I will gun you to pieces, says Gunlock. <laughs> Versus Biff. Oh my god, they are going fast already. We got Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Mr. Peanut in the background with a gun? Wait, I just noticed that. Why do they have Mr. Peanut with a gun? I mean, I know it's Los Angeles, so I guess it makes sense, but... Bro. Yo, he's got the leg kick? Oh, the Irish whip. Get him. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Some real wrestling moves out here. Man, Gunlock is quick on his feet, though. And the... Oh, another one. Damn. Mixtape, kind of nice with it. I mean, I know Mixtape is good in all these tournaments, but... But damn. I love this the shoe squeaking noise. The shoe squeaking noise is so good. They need that in every game. Ooh, trying to interrupt. Nice, the the flip kick. Oh no, there's another throw too. Oos. Damn. Mixtape, hold on, bro. Have you been grinding this game in secret? The rare two-hit combo. We see, like, almost no combos in this game. Bravo. Yeah, another anime wrestling. There was that that crazy ultimate muscle game for, like, PS2. You guys remember that? Or GameCube or something, right? That game was really cursed, but people still do play that. There are side tournaments for that at, at some tournaments. But I've never seen anyone play in this at a tournament. I've got the fist to finish you. Round one. Is this AI? This is for real, right? Yeah. It says 1P. So. Dude, the, the shoe squeak. The shoe squeak is so real. Oh, three piece. Wait a minute. We've got confirms off of buttons? Oh, going for the throw. Oh, there's Zangief from the back. Confirming that we are in Russia. Uh-oh. The backdrop? Oh. 
Damn, mix it with the tricky schmix. This is match point. It's match point mixtape in losers finals. I'm sorry, losers semifinals. Yeah, you can tell we're in Russia because the ring is literally frozen over. <laughs> That's what Russia's like, right? Ooh. That was a super cursed cross up. Looking like a good round here for Octopus, but Mixtape is just so solid. All right, eight foot gets one on the board. Holding on for dear life here against the squeaky shoes. All right, drops the link there. Damn, eight foot octopus is going in, hold up. <coughs> nice three piece from mixtape, gets the knockdown. There's that leg drop, looking like such a good special move. Ooh, but there's one right back at you from Biff. Wow, how did that win? How are all these trades working out for Mixtape? Oh, going for Chip, but Mixtape has corner positioning now. Oh, that looked unsafe, yup. Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. Frag, I've been overrun. <laughs> oh yeah, this game does have like the zombie dude. That is this game, that's crazy. All right, we're going back to Mr. Peanut stage. Ooh, brutal. The power bomb? Or pile driver that is. Nice, not getting the full confirm there, but still connects. The movement, the squeaky shoot movement, the command throw. Nice combo as well. This is getting so tricky now from mixtape. Oh, throw tech, so rare. Unsafe sweep, it's match point mixtape. All right, the leg drop is gonna hit here at round start. Another one. Oh my God, so much damage. I think this game might have guts though. Does anyone else feel that way? I think you might have more life in the second life bar. I could be wrong. Oof, dude, like look at how much that backdrop did on the first life bar, it's crazy. Nice. Nice. Oh my god, the Doom? That did so much. Maybe there is no guts. Mixtape takes it. That was crazy. Oh my god. All right, so next up is going to be Gundog versus Perfect Orange. Winners finals. Let's see what the bands are. Perfect Orange bans Godzilla. Gundog bans Blandia. Understandable. Battle K Road. This should be a really hype match. This is like a pretty serious game with some real fundamentals. Famous last words. But I think this should be a really good one. <laughs> Battle K Road. Yeah, I, it would be pretty funny to get MK too. I the one I want to see most though is Jackie Chan. How has there been no Jackie Chan all day? 
It's so sad. Jackie Chan's like the hypest game. What are they doing to us? All right. Let's fire up the old spectate machine. We're in there. <laughs> Mitsuji versus John. Is John the other boxer? Oh no, he's the Muay Thai. Or the uh, the kickboxer. Mitsuji is the, <laughs> the sumo wrestler. If you guys don't know, that is kind of the premise of the game, I believe, is most of the characters are representing a style of martial arts. Kind of like Street Fighter, I guess. Bro, what the heck was that? Huh? Yo, Gundog's going in with the big slaps, gets the dizzy and the KO! Yo! Gundog! Gundog Mitsuji, kinda nice? Alright, on to round two. Bro. Bro, another dizzy! Not able to get all the hits of the of the kick special move though. Yeah, those instant overheads are looking not very safe, unless you get the knockdown. I like the anti-air slap. Oh my god, that knee did infinity damage. What? Oh, there's the infinite though. With the corner. Doesn't get the knockdown though. Oh, that was so close. Perfect makes it one round to one. Yeah, did you guys see the damage on that tiger knee? That was ridiculous. There it is again! Absolutely huge, but here's the infinite. In the infinite into the dizzy. <laughs> that did a lot of damage as well. Oh my god. Oh, text the grab. Is that actually an infinite? How does he get stun off that every time? Is that true? He says, oh, 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 game one goes to Gundog. It's looking kind of cheap, guys. It's looking kind of cheap. Perfect, gonna run it back. Yes, indeed. All right, John's coming back. The portraits in this game are really funny. Ooh, slap, 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 bro. Okay, there you go. Found the interrupt. But unsafe on hit somehow? What? Can someone ex Was he unsafe on hit? Explain. This sumo wrestler does- Look, there it is again! I guess you need to get a knockdown with it. Bro. This is looking kind of cheap. <laughs> Mitsuji, this is match point Gundog. Like, you try to tiger uppercut out, you just get punished on hit. What the heck? Bro, these slaps are really adding up. Oh my god, it's dizzy! Look at the damage! Look at the damage! Oh my god, this strat from Gundog is way too good, dude. Way too good. Oh! Oh, going for the repeated punches, but that was infinity damage, and Gundog's gonna take it. That is not the character I thought we were gonna see tearing things up. Bro. Bro. Alright, so it's gonna be losers, finals, perfect versus mixtape. Let's get the two players banned. This is gonna be our final match off the wheel. Our final spin. Should I just rig it so we get Jackie Chan? <laughs> Alright, perfect bands Godzilla. And mixtape bands Toy Fighter. Good 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 ban against the perfect orange. Alright, this band is banned. Marshall Masters. This is the first time for the day, right? First time. 
Marshall Masters. Let's go. This is a cool one. Perfect is really good at this game. So this might be tough, but Mixtape is good at like every game. Bo both these players, I think, are pretty solid at Marshall Masters. This game is bad. No, it's not. This game's godlike. <laughs> this game is sick. <laughs> Have you seen that dude that drops the bells? That guy's badass. All right. All right, let's go. It's first to two. Yeah, exactly. The pot, the pot dropping monk. Also the lotus dude. All right, speaking of the pot dropping monk, looks like that's who Perfect's going with. Mixtape going with Reka. Bro, like look at how beautiful this game is. It's, it's actually ridiculous. This has got to be one of the best looking fighting games. What is this? How did you do that? Mixtape has some tech. How did you summon an, an aura of fireball? Is it possible to learn this power? Oh my god, there it is again. Oh, I see. It's like an assist. I see, I see, I see. Ooh, but there's the bonk. There's the bonk. Bro, perfect holding it down here with the defensive play style. Dropping pots. Nice interrupt there from Mixtape. Yeah, clearly Mixtape is really relying on meter here. Dude, I kind of want to learn this game for real. It, it just looks so cool. Wow, that was so unsafe. These pots seem so risky, and yet... Ooh, almost got the hype combo. That two-footed jump in. Looking like foot dive from Dr. Doom. Going for chip strats now? Wow, bonks him on the head. Perfect Orange takes game one. Oh, wait, just kidding. It's not game one. It's first to three. This game is forced first to three. I forgot. So still a chance here. It's KOF style, except you can pick the same character three times. Which I think is usually better if you don't know more than one character. Look at these strings, though. This man doing strings? Wow, instant overhead on that guy. All right, mixtape managing to win one. Perfect with a huge amount of meter stored up, though. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Wait, does your health carry over? Did I not notice this whole time? That your health carries over between rounds? That's not true, is it? Ooh. Nice combo. Oh, the fireballs? The fireballs, the reset? This is Mixtape's last chance, gets bogged. That's game one to perfect. Game one to perfect. Thanks a lot. <laughs> what a Chad, bro. All right, the run back, the run back, same characters. Dude, look at the monk's idol pose. He's just so beefy. Okay, raw super. Alright, we're throwing fireballs like Ryu, like Ryu. It's a shame those multiple fireballs do like no damage. It's nice that they like instantly win neutral for you, but unfortunately, like one pot to the face is gonna do more damage than the entire volley of fireballs. 
Oh no, speaking of pots to the face. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, the damage differential is really, really helping decide this match here. Ooh, what's this? New super? Oh, the stomp. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Monk has high HP total. Or if Mixtape just doesn't know the high damage moves. But yeah, definitely damage differential coming into play in a big way. Say it ain't so. Please. Please! Game crash! Alright, it's 1 0. <laughs> How many crashes have we had today? How many crashes must we suffer? Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Dude, I'm telling you, the pots, the pots eat up all the dedicated wham. It's tough. It's tough. The a computer can only hold so many. Get the integer rollover. Get negative one pots. All right. It's one zero. -oh. Uh, yeah, true, no, wait, no, there was double dragon one time. There was one double dragon. Right? Oh my god, the pot is crazy. We're throwing out the booger? Look at the setup! Has Mixtape been grinding? Has Mixtape been grinding? Yeah, this game is really, really sick. It's probably one of my favorites on the wheel. But I personally suck at it. I don't know how to play at all. But I really want to learn Drunken Master, because I think he's the coolest looking. But Reika looks really cool too. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh, the whiff throw. Decent punish from mixtape, but... Sheesh! Okay. Could we be bringing it back? Okay, the punish. Oh, you can tell Mixtape kind of wanted to cross up in between the fireballs, but this monk is tall. The stomp. Okay, it's match point perfect. This is Mixtape's last chance. It's true that the two footed stomp that. Please. Please! I can't! I can't! Help. Are we going to flip a coin? Coin flip mode? Okay, mi mixtape is is conceding. 
which I think is fair. Perfect was looking in a pretty dominant position. So it is what it is. It's unfortunate. We hate to see it play out this way. But that means it's grand finals. Perfect Orange versus Gundog. And apparently, I don't know what's in store. But apparently we have a secret game for this. I'm curious what it is. Okay, Grand Finals, first to three. <laughs> they have two minutes to set their buttons. But what's the game? The game is called Cute Fighter. Uh, uh, let's see it, I guess. What? Huh? <laughs> I mean, it's cute. What can I say? It's cute. Oh my god. Why is there no sound on the attract screen? Bro. Nineteen ninety eight? That's so late. <laughs> this came out in a post Tekken world. Oh no, epilepsy warning. Epilepsy, oh my god, there's so much. Oh my god. This might be hard to watch. And it's from Korea, huh? Cute fighter for Korea. All right, the, the two players are gonna... Yeah, I think the, the sound is just the attract screen. The two players are gonna bind their buttons and then play. The inspiration for Pocket Bravery? Actually true. Actually true. All right. The two players, they claim to be ready. Let's see. First to three. Oh, God. <laughs> it's going to take a minute. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe maybe it's a crazy fast game. All right. Theoretically. Theoretically, we'll get the match going. Okay. First to three. Oh, my eyes, dude. The flashing. You pick your characters? Oh, I still don't have sound. Um... Oh, there we go. You pick your characters out of a gotcha? Or not a gotcha, like a crane game. What is this sound, bro? Oh, wait, this game looks kind of cool. Why are there no character names on screen? I have so many questions. So we're playing the mirror match, I think. I can't actually tell if this is the mirror match. It is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the mirror match. No character names on screen. R6 Palo Seiko. Bro, what is this game? The sound effects are actually killing me. Why does every sound effect sound like it was recorded in a garage? Alright, Perfect Orange looking good so far. Reminder that being that this is a double elimination bracket, Perfect Orange has yet to lose, or uh, Gundog has yet to lose a set. So if Perfect Orange wins this, we're going to a new a bracket reset with a different game. 
If Gundog wins this, tournament's over. All right, we've got a character change. I don't know who he changed to because there are no character names on screen. Just a minor complaint. 2002 World Cup Korea. <laughs> this took place in the future. Bro. Bro. Perfect is looking ferocious out here. Oh, this guy literally <laughs> can kick soccer balls. It really does sound... Yeah, it sounds like they're coming out of, like, that thing that he has in Home Alone 2. I think for sure the worst part of this game is the flashing. A lot of arcade games had this problem back then, but... Yeah, the flashing is worse in this than I think I've ever seen in a fighting game. Oh, nice. Preemptive anti-air fireball. Not the five-piece. Not the five-piece jab combo. All right. Is Gundog going to keep looking around character select? Sometimes it's a good strat. Sometimes you just haven't found the character that clicks with you yet. All right, who be thinking? Okay, we got Pompadour. Show. Bro, look at the hair on Show. That's why this is called Cute Fighter. Dude, what are these combos? Why does that combo? Okay, okay, let's go, Gundog. Finding some momentum here. I like that statue in the background. <laughs> nice, another preemptive ant here. The fundamentals, man. The fundamentals. This is match point. This is tournament reset point. Bro, wait a minute. How did that whiff? Someone needs to explain that to me. Uh-oh, this is bad. Back in the corner. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Perfect backs off, gets punished for it. Big chance here. Bro, that was so whack. Did you see that? All his moves were like missing, point blank. Okay, perfect resets it. So I think we we have a new game to go to for the grand finals reset. Let's find out what it is. Oh my god. Yeah, that was that was so whack. The moves were just whiffing in the corner. That was so jank. I think Cute Fighter might be a bad game. All right, game's changing. Game's changing. Oh, Perfect was dodging by pressing A plus B plus back. The tech. How is the tech being found? Okay, the game is now Survival Arts. Okay, what is this? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't think you guys are ready for what this game looks like. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, this looks sick! <laughs> warriors capable of physically attacking an enemy with force each having command the eight warriors however have acquired the necessary skills of survival arts they're scattered over each one continues their pursuit of knowledge there can be only one true successor of the survival arts by sammy 93 this game's old as hell hey 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 hey, 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 hey. <laughs> A wealthy street fighter enters survival of the arts to make more money. Yo! 
a former police officer who realized that the founder of Survival Arts, Daniel, is not human. And in order to reveal... <laughs> I can't read fast enough. I can't read fast enough. This The owner of Survival Arts is not human. <laughs> I'm dying, dude. I'm actually dying. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The players are playing. First to three. This is for all the marbles, guys. Oh, my God. My head hurts from laughing. Whoa, we're in already. Mongo versus Gunner. <laughs> what? What? Mongo. Why did that do so much damage? What? So Mongo looks like Michael Myers with a gun. Oh, you can shoot low, bro. It's over. Why did that do infinity damage? And the guts are coming. Ew. That's his colon down there. Ew. Why does the gun do infinity damage? Gunner. Guys, Mongo. what is this? Alright, Gunner versus Mongo. What did he just do? I feel like Mongo's not doing any damage and Gunner's doing infinity damage. Is it just me? Oh, he can f he can fly. Okay, okay, okay. Mongo's starting to do damage. Oh! <laughs> the hundred hand knives, but it's not enough. <laughs> the knives are not enough. It was a good strat. It was a good strat, though. Is what is that in the background? Oh, it's like a spaceship. I see. Okay, now that did infinity damage for some reason. Oh, there's a grenade. And there's a bat on the screen. Do you guys see that? Oh, nice air to air. Let's go. Perfect is finding some stuff. Perfect is fine. <laughs> he just shoots the gun in the air. <laughs> that's, that's how you celebrate a win, am I right? Oh, the grenade is down. Oh, and now you can lock him down to get hit by the grenade. And the grenade does 90%? I, and he's a skeleton! I think Perfect might have found some tech. I think Perfect might have found some tech. Oh my god. Um... I think we need to restart. Yeah, M miss, miss pick, miss pick. It's one one, bro. This game, I don't know what I expected. I don't know what I expected, but it weren't this. I'll tell you. Mango. Mango. Yeah, the game does seem to have item drops. Yo, the electricity? Oh, you better watch out for that grenade, sir. Come on! Bro. The grenade is out. You better watch out! He traded with the knife! Bro, that knife move is hilarious. I love how there's three of them. And the way he shoots the gun? Bro. I don't know what's up with the. It must be random damage or something. It must be random damage because sometimes the fireball does like half life. Bro. Oh, he's in. Bro, he's got Spidey Swing. Oh, you broke the statue and there's a knife in it. Or no, it's a katana. There was a katana in the statue. Is no one going to pick it up? Ooh, <laughs> knife. Bro, 
not the gut. He's as God is my witness. He's cut in half. It could be headshot damage. That's a good point. That's possible. All right. Perfect just needs to win one more game. This is definitely one of the most cursed games. What is now? There's a baseball bat. Okay, wait a minute. And now there's a there's a a mace. Is that a morning star? Oh, the the block infinite. <laughs> Let's go, gun dog. Bro. I like how the players aren't really concerning themselves with the weapons on the ground. I mean, both their characters come equipped with weapons anyway, so you don't really need them. Oh, that neutral jump strat is looking pretty good in the anti-air gunshot. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Gundog figuring stuff out. One player survived. I like how it's not like you win. It's that you survive. Imagine if graphics never evolved past this. I remember it was definitely a thing where people would be like, bro, like Mortal Kombat is as good as graphics are going to get because it's real life. You can't improve on real life. It's the most realistic looking game. <laughs> the the hundred hand slap with the knife is too funny. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, the grenade is out, but the gunshot is too much. Can we get the delayed explosion? No. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's match point gun dog. Can you guys believe it? Oh, we got hit by the last few, but the the machine gun bullets actually do like no damage. Bro, what is going on on this stage, by the way? Oh, is that a giant squid eye? Oh my god, are we actually gonna go to last game, last round? Ain't no way. Ooh, perfect has stolen the repeated jump strat. Oh, Gundog is gonna take it. Three to three to two. So well played by both players. Bro, what what a ridiculous game. That was crazy. Who thought that that would be a good game to make? I've never seen anything like that. All right, let's just see. How many spins do you guys think it'll take to get Jackie Chan? Well, I thank everybody. Thank you to all the players for playing. It was a lot of fun. We got Toy Fighter a few times. If you guys would like to join in our next tournament, what you're going to want to do is join our Discord. Link is in the description of all my videos. Join the Discord and uh, join our premium Discord, which is where we hide all the elite channels, like the tournaments and that kind of thing. So definitely do that because we got two tournaments coming up next month. I have the dates right here. April 14th, uh, which is in two weeks, we will be doing another Fightcade Frenzy with a new game, a random game. And then the 28th, we're playing Mer Fight on Steam. Mer Fight. Unfortunately, it is not a free-to-play game. It does cost money, but it does go on sale pretty regularly. And I'm going to try if I can get see if I can get some codes to give out. So Mer Fight, we are playing on the 28th. I've heard it's a good game. It has rollback. I've heard it's really fun. So it should be a lot of fun. Uh, so again, if you guys want to join that, join our Discord. The link is always in the description of my videos. And uh, thanks again to Moonin for running the tournament and for wrangling all these games. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Especially since I've been doing trivia on my YouTube channel in the community tab. So if you haven't been seeing the trivia, you want to take part, make sure you subscribe so that it'll show up on your YouTube feed. But with that, we're going to end the stream. Bro, not playing here. Not playing. It's so close to Jackie. Jackie Chan got snubbed, man. Jackie Chan got big time snubbed. Bro, just, just, just cheat. Just, just cheat and give me Jackie Chan.
All right. All right. Bye, guys, for real. Bye. It was Rainbow Edition, by the way. Rainbow Edition was the last one. Okay, bye.